But while we're in this drop D tuning, I'd like to play you my arrangement of Will the Circle Be Unbroken? This should be a fun tune to play. Let's have a listen. Will the Circle Be Unbroken, a beautiful tune and a lot of fun to play in the guitar, especially in his drop D tuning. I played it rather straight, but it's sort of saying, go with it. Give us some variations. And I'll talk a little bit about that once I get the basics taught to you. Drop D, we're going to be playing the melody around that D chord. So our ring finger is going to do a little bit of going up. a hammer on. So that's straightforward and I think pretty simple. Let's try that again. Ah, that's a little thing I do put in there. I'll open up the second string, but then I'll pull it off. So it's... Let me stress again about the pull off. You want to pull down so you feel, get a nice chunky sound out of that pull off effect. into that G chord, in this case, just our index finger, and we had this before on our third fret of the second string, ring finger, fifth fret of the sixth string. So let's get into that. Pull off. Hammer on now. open it back down to the D. Now at this point you do have, you're spending a little bit of time just on that D chord with an alternating bass. Once you get that down, and I'll show you this in a couple of minutes, you can do a little fill in there. But so far we have, will the circle be unbroken? Go up to the G chord. So this we're going up to this D position, which is very similar to the position we had in Death Come Creeping, but we're going to not play a bluesy feel here, we're going to play the actual full D. Now what, how, if you wanted to visualize this, it's just that A chord, and if we brought it up to the seventh fret, and if we were barring, this would be a D chord, but we only want the top two strings, because we want the sixth and the fourth string bass to be ringing out. And then 
back down to the D chord, and then we have the A chord, and then back to a D. Simple. Let's try it together. Nice and slowly. Hammer on that. Everything's in your thumb. You get a full sound. That position back down to the D and into the A. What is that? I'm just going to hammer on the second fret of the fifth string with our thumb of our right hand, hit the open fourth string, hit the fourth fret of the sixth string, and end with that low D back into the alternating. And again, let me stress, just listen to that alternating bass. I'm going to kill it dead. You hear how the guitar is just singing out? That was the first thing I was talking about on the lesson, on our first lesson. It's so very important. You want to really get a nice full sound. It's almost boom strum, but you're not strumming. You're just hitting this hard enough so that it's making the other strings vibrate. Boom, chick. The chick's being hit hard enough. Well, let's split the screen, and we're going to just play the basic arrangement. Then after, I'll talk about some variations, some different ideas you can throw into the arrangement. Here we go. Such a beautiful melody, and it's one, uh, when I'm playing at home, I tend to play this for a, a long time, 20 minutes practically, and try to throw in some different ideas. Here are a couple that you can think about. One was that fill, when you're going... We have this. Now... So my bass is still alternating, and I'm playing around that D chord. And it continues, and it's very important to slide up with this position. I don't think I explained that clearly enough before the split screen. Come up with this position. And now here, we're going to have a variation. You can put this chord in. You're just going to be barring the seventh frets of the top all six strings. A nice minor chord in. Put your ring finger on the ninth fret. And you're going to play the second and the third string. And this is the part I really like. 
little bit advanced, but check it out. This is like a D position. Now put, literally, step up the next string and slide it up to the fifth fret, and that's an A7 chord. You see that? And what I'm doing, I'm playing the bass and the third string, then I'm pinching the second and the fourth strings together, playing the third string, then I'm lifting up my middle finger so I catch the open second string, but I'm putting my thumb down on the fifth fret of the sixth string. And then back to the D. So there's a couple of variations. Another nice variation to do is just play the melody line in the middle register. Just try to pick out and strum. This is funny. Ha ha, with people who learn how to finger pick, a lot of times they have a difficult time just strumming and keeping time. They learn how to finger pick and play all fancy stuff, but just to back themselves up strumming, they can find difficult. Got the melody. That's a nice contrast when you go into the finger picking. So what I'll do right now is let me just split the screen and let me just sort of go with it. I'll just play Will the Circle Be Unbroken and try to put a bunch of different variations in it for you. Okay, here we go.